Hi there, this is the Electronics Lab, and you're listening to 60 Second Circuits, where I try to explain a circuit in 60 seconds or less. Side note, it's almost always more. In this video, we are going to look at different ways of calculating power in an electrical circuit. So strap on your shock-resistant safety boots, and let's start this march for knowledge. In electrical circuits, power is always equal to voltage times current. This is true whether you're looking at a nonlinear element like a transistor, or a diode, or even a vacuum tube. It's true if you're considering an entire electrical system or just a resistive element. So for example, if you have 1.7 volts across this box and have 30 milliamps into it, the power consumed is 1.7 volts times 0.03 amps, which is 0.051 watts. And this is true regardless of whether it's a transistor, vacuum tube, diode resistor, or even an entire electronic circuit inside that box. When you're dealing with power dissipated by a resistor, there are other forms that the equation can take. Considering the equation, power is equal to voltage times current, and Ohm's law with his various equation forms, it is easy to see a couple of different forms of the power equation for resistors. Since voltage equals current times resistance, you can substitute IR in for V and get power is equal to I squared R. Similarly, since current is equal to voltage over resistance, you can substitute V over R for I into the P equals VI equation and get P equals V squared over R. So for a resistor, the power equation can take three different forms. P equals V times I, P equals I squared R, and P equals V squared over R. As an example, if 500 milliamps goes through a 33 ohm resistor, power is equal to 0.5 squared times 33 equals 9.98 watts dissipated by that resistor. And another example, if you have 12 volts across a 100 ohm resistor, you get 12 squared over 100 equals 1.44 watts of power dissipated by that resistor. So in summary, in electrical circuits, power is always equal to voltage times current. And for the special case of resistive elements, the power equation can take three different forms. P equals VI, P equals I squared R, or P equals V squared over R. Hopefully that furthers your understanding of power in electrical circuits. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep fit and have fun.